Hi there, students. To tease, a verb. A tease is a noun. Maybe a teaser as well. Okay, to tease is to make fun of somebody. To poke fun at them, but either playfully or annoyingly. So, I'm always teasing my friend about how he talks, about the way he talks. So, I'm making fun jokes about it, but I'm being friendly. These are friendly jokes. However, to tease can also be the other side of the coin. The kids at school were always teasing him because he was fat. To mock, to taunt, to make malicious jokes at somebody. Okay? So, to try and make them angry. Okay? So, to tease is talking about making jokes, but they can. this can either be positive in a friendly way, or it can be aggressive and unpleasant and malicious, designed to hurt. So notice it can work both ways. Um, we can also use to tease, meaning to um, provoke, to irritate, to play with. So he was teasing the cat by hanging a piece of string in front of it and then pulling it away. Okay, so to tease, to tantalize, to arouse someone, to um, show them something, to arouse desire or um, uh, interest, curiosity in someone, but to have no intention to uh, fulfill that desire. We, we very often use this about sex as well. So, somebody who teases somebody sexually is they arouse the person, but they have no intention of actually having sex with them. So, notice, for example, the, the phrase, a strip tease. Yeah? Um, so, to take off your clothes in a teasing way. This girl is a tease. She's only uh, arousing him, but she has no intention of sleeping with him. Okay, so, to tease, a tease. Okay, now we have a different meaning of to tease. To straighten fibres in a textile, or to straighten your hair by combing it very gently. Let's see, originally fibres were made straight by using a plant called a teasel. It's sort of like a thistle. If you look at the picture of the thumbnail, you'll see the teasel there. Um, and to they used a teasel to tease wool, to straighten it. Um, you also can tease the knots out of somebody's hair. So, he gently teased the knots out of his daughter's hair. Yeah, to comb by pulling, but very gently. And then we also use this figuratively, meaning to coax, to persuade someone to do something by gentle persuasion. The mother teased the story out of her son. Um, the psychiatrist teased the information out of the patient. Um, I teased the money out of him because he was very reluctant to give it to me. So, to tease, to make jokes. My dad's always teasing me to tease, to make malicious jokes, to annoy, to provoke with mean jokes. The kids at school were always teasing him. Um, to gently comb hair or fibres, uh, to make them straight. Yeah, so he teased the wool. I teased the knots out of her hair. 
and then to coax or gently persuade somebody to do something. They teased uh, the information out of him. So notice in all of this as well, it's a regular verb. They teased the information out of him. Um, they have teased him all day with bad jokes. Now, next question is formality. I would give this a five in formality. I think you can use it anywhere, informally and very formally. So nice and flexible. And what about the origin? Well, there was an old English word, taisan, meaning to tease. And that itself goes back to Proto-Germanic, taisijan, meaning to separate, to pull, to tug gently, to shred. So, to tease, to make funny jokes with somebody, to make pleasant jokes, or to make unpleasant jokes. To arouse somebody, but with no intention of going through with it. To straighten fibres, to gently pull the knots out of somebody's hair, and to coax something out of them, to coax them into doing something. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Tease.